The new moon on January the 11th brings with it new beginnings and it is being amplified by the new moon falling on January the 11th, which brings also the 111 energy. So everything that the new moon already brings with it, the new beginnings is truly being amplified by the 111 energy. And in this video, I want to share with you the five key things that I think you should know about this particular new moon. So you can really open yourself up and also make the most out of this new beginning that is here right now because everything started with January the 1st which was the beginning of 2024 but now the new moon really amplifies the key theme of new beginnings everything that you have been working towards that you have been waiting for it now really starts so even though the year started on January the 1st I truly get the sense that now is really with this new moon on the 11th is really that's when a new beginning really starts the energies are shifting especially because we are we're just coming out of mercury retrograde season so we're still kind of like in this post mercury retrograde season for a couple more days but now with the new moon it truly marks that new beginning of 2024 and your path moving forward so let's dive into those five key things so you know how to really work the energy in your favor the first thing I would like for you to know is that there's an invitation to leave behind the old and outdated, the things that you no longer need in order to make room for the new. Because in order to allow newness to come into your life, well, you gotta make room for it, right? If your house is, is too full, you can't buy any more furniture, right? So it's kind of the same thing with, with our energy, with, with what we're experiencing in our life. If we have so much already on our plate, and if we're experiencing so much already, if we're so busy all the time and we're distracted and things like that well no newness can come into our lives so right now with this new moon this new moon energy there's really that invitation to let go of anything and everything that you don't need anymore let go of any beliefs any habits any feelings any any doubts or anything like that, anything that is really hindering you from really stepping into your power and being all that you can be and creating the life that you would love to live. Even the things, if you still brought something with you from 2023, this also is not an invitation to let it go because 2023 was quite an intense year for many and you may are still holding on to some of the energies. And if you do, I want to invite you to check out a video. It's a light language activation to really release and let go to of anything that is no longer serving you there link is in the description below so you can check that out so you can get the assistance on an energetic level to leave it all behind so with this new one there's really that opportunity for that deep release of letting go of the things that you simply don't need anymore on your path moving forward hand it over to the new moon like really get clear on what are the things that you don't want anymore and then make that energetic disconnection to those things and then really let it go it starts first within and energetically really making a decision okay these are the things i no longer want anymore these are the things i no longer need anymore those are the things that i want to let go of maybe even write it down get clear on these are the things i now choose to release and write down everything that you want to release from internally emotionally, your habits, your beliefs, those type of things, and then also externally, what are you now ready to release? And then really hand it all over to the new moon. Let the new moon energy really dissolve it, cut the cords, you know, the energetic cords that you have uh, with these things that you want to let go of. Because in order to really open yourself up to the newness, why well, you gotta let go of the things that uh, they're kind of filling your plate already. So that's the first thing I want you to know is that now with this new moon, there's really that invitation is to let go of anything that's no longer serving you in order to make room for the new. Let the new moon energy really help you with this release. Then the second thing I would like for you to know is that, especially because the new moon is also falling on January the 11th, which makes it that power day, is that there's an invitation for you to now to dream big, like bigger than you have been. Envision your greater future. Like really think if you could have anything and everything that you would love or even something better than that. What would you like to experience? What would you like to have? What would you like to be doing? Really write it down. Get clear on what is that greater vision for your life, for your future. And here the invitation is to really dream bigger than you have been. What you can do here is start writing out your vision. Get it all on paper. Write it all down. What would you like? 
and then reread it, looking at it from a different perspective. Is this really what you want or how can you evolve that? What else could you ask for? What is more expansive and really expand on your dreams, on your visions? Because now with this new moon energy, you can really magnetize your desires. Use the new moon energy to magnetize the things that you actually would love to have and allow yourself to really dream bigger than you have been. Because anything and everything is truly possible for you. And here, what I mean is it's not so much about the materialistic things or anything like that, but really connecting with your soul's desires. What does your soul truly want? And this could actually be something very simple, actually, but still more evolved, more expansive and, and allow yourself to really tap into that. That is really what is that offer here is because also in order to really open yourself up to the newness, you got to get clear on what is it that you actually want, right? Because the new moon energy can really magnetize your desires, but it's about those soul desires, not the ego wants, because whatever your ego wants, that's usually on the materialistic side, right? Maybe you want to have a million dollar or a fancy house or a fancy car or whatnot. But when you're tuning in and connecting with your soul and checking in with, with your soul and asking, like, what does my soul truly want? you may realize that you really don't want a huge house because, hey, the bigger the house is, the more you have to clean, right? Or you may don't want a fancy sports car or whatnot. Maybe you just want to have a reliable car or whatever it is, even about the things that you want to be doing with your life. Get some clarity around that. Use this new moon energy to really help you dream bigger because anything and everything is truly possible for you, but you have to ask for it. You have to really ask for it. And here also the invitation is don't hold back because these are your dreams that we're talking about. Don't hold back. Don't limit yourself because you're doing yourself a disservice, right? So write it down, get clear on what is it that you truly want. And like I said, allow yourself to dream bigger than you have been and know that it's truly possible for you. But like I said, you got to ask. So you ask by getting clear on what it is that you want. So many people don't even know what it is that they truly want or they limit themselves in what they're asking for. And now your invitation is throw all that out the window and get clear on what is it that you truly desires your soul. What is your soul truly desires? And then put your claim to it. Use the new moon energy to really magnetize your desires. Then the third thing I would like for you to know is that you're still settling into this whole new energy because 2024 has a completely different energy signature than it was in 2023. We're also moving into the new earth template. And we're also aligning ourselves to the frequency of the age of Aquarius. So the energy is definitely different. So you're still aligning yourself and adjusting to that frequency. So you may notice, and especially because the new moon, the new moon really amplifies that, especially with the one, one, one energy. So everything is being amplified. So the new moon is assisting you with this recalibration, this alignment to this energy, but just know that on around the new moon, especially because the energy is heightened with the new moon and the 111 energy, that you may feel a little shaky, you may feel a little wobbly, you may feel a little unsteady on your feet, because the energy you're still shifting into that new frequency. And here the invitation is to embrace it, like really tune into that frequency, tune into the energy, allow the new moon to really help you recalibrate yourself recalibrate you and your energy field to this new energy because it is important. It is important that we're aligning ourselves to it. And with these cosmic events like the new moon and especially as it falls on onto January the 1st and especially as it falls onto January the 11th, it's really being amplified, but it's to assist you in really aligning yourself to that. So here what you can do is really intentionally tuning into the new moon energy, asking the new moon to really recalibrate you on a deep inner level to adjust you to align you to this new frequency because it is needed for you to really move forward. Because like I said, 2024, the energy is completely different and you're being assisted right now to recalibrate yourself to that frequency. And to help you with that, I also have another light language activation I want to mention to you. It's in the description below. It's about really helping you with, with the shifting of the paradigms to align yourself to that new earth template, that new earth frequency. So that can help you with this alignment as well. So the link for that video is in the description below. 
Then the fourth thing I would like for you to know is that you will notice shifts are happening. Doors are starting to open. And this is going to happen shortly after the new moon. You will notice that doors are really opening. Uh, opportunities are coming your way. It's really going to help you with your path moving forward in 2024 to really help you living a soul embodied life, doing the things that your, your soul has come here to do. So you may notice that you have some newfound passions that all of a sudden are really being amplified. You may have new ideas coming in too. You will feel that inner drive to move forward. You will also feel somewhat of a sense that you are now on the right path. You're getting that direction of, okay, this is the, the, the steps I need to take. This is what I need to move into. So you will feel all that. All of those things are falling into place shortly after the new moon. Things are really falling into place to really help you move forward because 2024 is going to be a big year. And I talk more about that in the 2024 forecast. If you haven't watched that yet, check that out. The link is in the description below where I talk more about the energies and what's really happening and what's really possible in 2024 because it's absolutely an exciting year. And this new moon on January 11th is really helping you align yourself to all that what's to come in this year actually. So it's truly that new beginning to really help you really step into what your soul has come here to do. So it's a powerful uh, power day of January actually with the new beginnings, the new energies. It's truly assisting you to move forward. And all of those new opportunities that are coming, these shifts are coming, it may feel a little uncomfortable for you if, let's say, you're a little challenged with change or you're still really adjusting to the energy or things like that, or maybe you have a lot of doubt around what's really possible. So this energy, uh, you, because you are being shifted, you are being recalibrated to that, it may cause you to feel a little unsure. And with even with any newfound passions, because passion is really key here for this year is to really follow our passion, doing what our soul ha has come here to do. If it feels a lot uncomfortable to you, the invitation here is to embrace it all. Embrace all the things that are happening now because it is to your highest and greatest good. And even if it may be uncomfortable at first, if you're getting ideas and downloads and new opportunities and all of those things, if it sounds too good to be true, things like that, yes, it can feel a little uncomfortable at first, but here just embrace it. Breathe through any discomfort that you're feeling, maybe tune in. What are you feeling? What is coming to the surface? And then do your work to really break through that because these energetic shifts that are happening, they're assisting you to move forward. They're assisting all of us to really move forward, to really step into what we're here to do moving forward. Right? Because this year is truly a big year. It's truly an important year for us to really embrace all that is coming our way because it is truly to our highest and greatest good. And then the fifth thing I would like for you to know is that after the new moon, there will be a period of accelerated alignment that is taking place. Like things are really starting to fall into place and it's happening actually at rapid speed, especially when we're also coming out of Merc the, the post Mercury retrograde season. So for the rest of the month after this new moon, things are really starting to fall into place. Because all of the those intentions that you have set, uh, the desires that you have made clear on the new moon, will then start to materialize, will start to then fall into place. Now, of course, it's not just going to be poof when everything is then happening, all the intentions that you have set. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, they're not going to just magically appear. However, anything and everything that you need to move forward on those intentions, those desires, will come into your life, helping you materialize those things with more ease. So that's what's going to happen after the new moon. So the second half of the, the month. So for the rest of the month after the new moon, things are really starting to align. So there's that accelerated alignment that is happening for the rest of the month, really catapulting you forward, hel helping you really move forward with your intentions, with your desires, with your dreams, all of those things, really helping you move forward. Because like I said, this new moon marks a new beginning. So the way you can make the most out of this new moon energy is set your intentions, 
really get clear on your desires. What is it that you truly desire? And here I'm not talking about goals and with timely limits. I'm not talking about it, but really getting clear on what is it that you want to experience this year? What do you what do you want to manifest? Who do you want to grow into? Who do you want to be? What do you want to call forth? Really set your intentions of those things. What is it that you desire? Write it all down and then really dream big. Look at what you have written down to see, okay, is this really what I want? Or is there something more evolved, something maybe slightly different? Pay attention. How does it feel when you're reading through your desires? When you're writing your little story of your desire, your dream life or your desires of what you want, pay attention to what it feels like when you're reading it. Does it feel absolutely exciting where it warms your heart and you're like, oh my God, yes, I can see it. I know it's possible, things like that. And it just feels right. It feels expansive. Yes, probably going to stretch you, but still there's that inner resonance that yes, this is it. It fits like a perfectly fitting shoe. Or does it feel constricted, a little spotty maybe? Maybe it doesn't quite feel right. If you have that kind of sensation, then tune in what what parts of what you've written down doesn't fit, doesn't feel right, and then adjust it, tune it, tweak it, uh, maybe write something different, maybe really tune into, like really open yourself up. Okay, if I really don't want this in that way, well, what else do I want? Or what do I want instead? And really open yourself up to whatever it is that you want. Like I said, nothing is off limits here. Anything and everything is possible for you, but you have to get clear on what what is it that you want. You have to ask for it and you ask for it by getting clear on what it is that you want and by putting it down on paper. Because I have found that when you just think about it, you don't really connect with it as much as if you're writing it down. Because like I said, when you're writing it down, you can reread it, you can tweak it, you can you can fine tune it. You can also, and here there's something that you can do on a day-to-day basis, connect to that, connect to your desires. Read it every day, really make that energetic connection to your desires. That's what you can do. And then as you're doing this, ideally on the new moon, you want to really magnetize what you desire by really connecting to it, by connecting to what you've written down and really seeing it become alive, really envision it in great detail. But then also let go of any doubts, any fears, anything internally and externally in the physical that is actually hindering you from really making that your new reality from manifesting it from allowing that in because remember in the beginning i mentioned you got to let go of the old in order to open yourself up to the new you can't put something new on top of the old because if the cup is full you can't put anything more in there right so you have to either you know empty the cup or get a much bigger cup so but let go of anything that is really not serving you that is only weighing you down to open yourself up to the new and then trust that it is coming. Be open and allowing to receive whatever it is that you want. So here's the forecast for the new moon on January the 11th. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't done so already. Maybe even leave me a comment below and let me know what are you now ready to let go of? What are you now ready to open yourself up to? What are the new beginnings that you would like to see unfold in your life? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. I would love to know. But also definitely check out these two activations here to really help you with this on an energetic level. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful new moon. Until then, make an amazingly abundant and joyful day. Namaste.